Thanks for coming. I'm Captain Chris West with Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit while everybody's gathering up. We've actually got a family member, uh, the father, Hank, that's coming up. Uh, Oklahoma, as well as the rest of the nation, has suffered a lot of blows in this uh, season's tornado season. Uh, sadly, we're going to come to you today and tell you that uh, in this storm, uh, we, we did locate our 10th victim. Uh, Ryan Hamill was uh, found this morning about 7.15. Uh, near the shoreline at Falcon Lake, uh, the medical examiner's office uh, was contacted and actually showed up and he was recovered at nine. Um, for anybody that's a parent, uh, I've got two sons, I can tell you that the scene that we had this morning when the family, when the father and some grandparents came to the shoreline and uh, reunited with their, their child was very emotional. So. Um, very tragic loss for a lot of people in Oklahoma as well as across this nation. There's been a lot of death. Uh, there was no great joy in making that, uh, getting that family re reunited. Um, very sad. Uh, I'm going to look back right now, and uh, I think Hank is making his way. Uh, while he's coming, let me say that this was a, a, a tremendous effort by a lot of different agencies, uh, and I know I'm bound to miss a couple of them. Uh, the National Guard was a tremendous help. There was emergency managers from not only local county but state agencies as well. Uh, numerous fire departments, Kingfisher, Crescent, uh, Piedmont Police. I know there was officers from Oklahoma City Police here as well. Uh, deputies from uh, Logan County, Canadian County, think Kingfisher County, and I'm sure Oklahoma County responded as well. Uh, we had search and rescue teams that you can see behind us, cadaver dogs, search and rescue teams that came in from uh, Texas, Kansas, and, uh, and I believe possibly Missouri. Uh, they were all of great, of great assistance. I can tell you that uh, the, the cadaver dogs in this operation uh, yesterday were hitting in, uh, in the general area uh, where Ryan was actually recovered this morning. So what we actually believe occurred was uh, Ryan was carried into the lake, uh, submerged, and then probably overnight uh, he surfaced. And the currents had changed kind of in a uh, southwesterly direction, and we believe that's actually what brought Ryan uh, to the shoreline. Um, I believe there was actually a search and rescue team out of the state of Texas uh, that was in that area this morning and actually spotted him uh, three to four feet off the shoreline. So this, this truly was a, a joint unified effort of a lot of people coming together, uh, dedicated professionals, uh, in a very tragic situation to reunite this family uh, with their child. Very, very tragic loss for this family. As you know, uh, this is their second child to be lost, and, uh, and Hank's wife is still in the hospital. Uh, she's had surgery this morning, and I think that they have another child that's still there that suffered some injuries.